So now go to run by pressing Windows key plus R and type CMD. Hit OK. Then change the drive to D. Go to cake php forum.com. Then go to app. And now we will bake our model. So we type cake bake model. So use database config, we say yes for default and then possible models based on your current database. So first of all, we will bake our topics. So number for topic is 2, so we enter 2 and time now to do some validation things. So we say yes. So first of all, that is asking for ID integer. So we supply 24 for not empty and 24. Would you like to add another validation rule we say no now for user id it says is it numeric and supplies 25 we say yes would you like to add another validation rule we say no and time now for title by default it's saying not empty we hit okay would you like to add another validation rule we say no now for visible we want to supply the rule not empty so we enter 24 enter no and for create it we say 35 and for modify it also 35 and this is for the relationships we say yes topic belongs to user yes because user creates the topic so that belongs to user we say yes topic has many posts we say yes would you like to define some additional model association we say no so all this looks okay to me so we say yes no we don't want any unit testing so we say no and now we can see that the model has been generated automatically by cake php console and we can test that by going into the app directory inside model and we can see that the topic has now been generated so this does all things for us and we did not write any code for doing this all. In next movie, we'll see how we can save data using these models and how we can retrieve that later.